Bedtime with Mrs. Honeybee. There's Melody Bee. She's waving to us. I think she's calling us outside. Oh yes, I think you're right. Let's head out into the honeybee garden. Harold paws at the back door until we open it. Then he darts out to Melody Bee as fast as he can. He jumps up to her, buzzing in the air above him until she flutters down for a big hug. <laughs> Harold, guess what? All that singing we did to help the tomatoes grow finally worked. I was worried we wouldn't get any this year, but they just needed a little extra attention. Tomato, tomato, when you gonna grow tomato, tomato, when you gonna grow tomato? Look at all these ripened tomatoes. have such a beautiful singing voice. Oh, Mr. Honeybee, I think we'll have enough to make your favorite spaghetti. That is music to my ears. <laughs> Do you think this is enough tomatoes for the recipe, Mrs. Honeybee? How many are there? Here, let's put them in this basket to help carry them. One, two, three, four, whoa. They're even more tucked away behind the leaves. This will be plenty. Can you see any tomatoes that are ready to be picked? You'll know because they're bright red. You pull back the little green branches to find three tomatoes sharing a single branch. You carefully pull each of them from the branch and place them in the basket. They're heavier than you expected and soft in your hand. Once the basket is filled, Mr. Honeybee carries it inside to start washing them off. I'll get started on the spaghetti sauce. It needs enough time to simmer. Melody Bee, why don't you show our little honey bee around while I get dinner started? Of course, I'd love to. Come on. Always remember, Mrs. Honey Bee believes in you. You are special and you are loved. I can't wait to see you again.